Good morning, everyone. It's your girl, Annie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Salem vlog. I was in Salem towards the end of September, so a little late to be getting this video out, but such is life. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I'm um, not the best vlogger. I didn't want to experience my own vacation through my phone, so a lot of the things I forgot to film, I didn't film long enough, yada 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 however i did do my best and i did get some pretty good clips to show you guys my two and a half days in salem a few things are not in there but that's quite all right so we all know that i could ramble on forever but i'm gonna stop here and i will see y'all in salem <music> I think it's an unwritten rule somewhere in Salem history, at least within the past 30 years, that whenever you first get there, you gotta go to Red's. So that was the first stop. Get that thing in the back. I know I love it. It's so cute. Is it 45 minutes? Uh, probably. Like that. These two we can do, and like, what do you say, what is a Oh my god, are these notebooks? Oh, those are so pretty. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna make it a point now that every time I'm in Salem, I must go into Witch City Thrift. I found some really fun things last year and I just love thrift stores. However, I've never been to this store so close to October. So seeing all of their vintage Halloween things and just seeing it all spookified for spooky season was amazing. After a little stroll through the ropes garden, I headed over to Witch City Wicks that had some really nice Halloween decorations out, really cute jack-o'-lanterns, and they had a mantle in the front of the store that was nicely decorated as well. <laughs> The last stop for day one is Nocturne, popped over there after dinner. I get so inspired every time I'm there and I love specifically this trip, the use of the pomegranates and the fruit, like with the skeletons. I'm gonna have to probably steal that for my own decorating at home. Day two started with breakfast at the Fountain Place and then popped over to Count Orlock's Nightmare Gallery. If you have been to Salem and you have not done the Nightmare Gallery, what are you doing? It's probably my favorite attraction, so to speak, in Salem. It's just so much fun.
and we're doing more shopping on day two. If you asked me what my favorite store in Salem was, I would say Hive and Forge. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it and I don't know why. I just, I love everything about it. The collection, the, the curated pieces in there, it's absolutely stunning and I love everything about it. It looks cute. Blink. Here's a little fit check before the walking tour. It was a rainy day and it was starting to get cold, so we had to bundle up a little bit. Day three is the last day. Started with breakfast at Red's again and then popped on over to Ascend. Did an aura reading and that is going to be it for this year's trip to Salem. A message to Salem. I miss you already and I cannot wait until next year. Until the next one. Bye guys.